What is up everybody, my name is Andrew and welcome to a Space Engineers first look sort of thing. Uh, last week Space Engineers released the beta for their uh, their new automations update which looks really cool and I kind of wanted to get in and just kind of mess around with it. Um, if you want to access, oh it stopped raining, that's actually very nice. Um, just in time for the video, but if you want to access the Space Engineers beta it's pretty easy. Just go into Steam, right click on Space Engineers, go to Properties, uh, click on Betas and then scroll down until you see the automations one. Select that and it'll automatically download and you can start playing the automations beta that they released last week. Um, but anyway, yeah, welcome to Space Engineers. We're on that automations beta build and I just kind of wanted to get in and mess around with it. Check out our little hut. <laughs> It's very nice. Um, this is our little test world. I haven't touched any of this stuff, uh, the new stuff they added. So we're just going to kind of get in, uh, look at what they added and try and see what it does pretty much. Um, so let's press G and look at all the new stuff. It's here in grid automation and the new stuff is from event controller all the way to AI offensive combat. So they've added the event controller, the AI recorder, the AI basic, the AI flight, the AI defensive and the AI offensive modules. Okay, so here they are. We have the event controller, which looks really cool. Actually, I really like the art for this one or the, the model for this one. It looks awesome. Um, we've got the AI recorder, uh, which actually has like a left front, uh, rear and uh, right marker. So that's kind of cool that they've added that. Um, I guess since these are all little things that you put on a ship, you have to make sure that you know which way is the front. So that's really good that they've added that uh, for that. We have an AI basic, which does not have those markers, but has a similar kind of icon design on the front. Uh, we've got the AI flight, which does have the left, right, front, rear markers. We've got the AI defensive and we've got the AI offensive modules. They all have this little icon on the front, which is kind of cool. Um, so we're going to get in and kind of mess around with each of them. They all have little descriptions if you hover over what they are, like the event controller, for instance, triggers actions based on grid or block conditions. Ooh, that's going to be fun. I'm guessing what this means is we can monitor like the condition of that thing right there. So if it gets damaged, we can like turn these lights all red or something. Let's actually check out the event controller, see what it's got for us. So we've got select actions. So I guess that's what it'll do. Um, and then we've got a bunch of events. So, uh, angle changed. Um, door open, you know, a lot of these things that we can look at. Is there any like block damage? Cause that would be kind of, oh yeah, block integrity percentage. Okay. So what if I want my condition to be less than, uh, 50%. So if the block integrity is less than 50% on, do I, can I select a block? Oh yeah. Okay. So my antenna dish, let's add the block there. Okay. So let's select our actions. What I want to happen is I want this set of lights. I guess we can't really change all the lights color because that's not really in the game uh, as something you can do. Um, but what we'll do is we'll turn them off. We'll, we'll talk about, we'll, we'll just straight up turn them off. How about that? So let's say that it's nighttime right now and we want it so that our base is going to go completely dark if that thing gets destroyed or actually just damaged a little bit. So let's see if this actually works. Event controller, don't let me down. Turn this off and light it up. I have no clue how many shots it's going to take. <gasps> it worked! All the lights went out. Is it under? I guess it just went under the 50% threshold. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. So it just went under 50% and all the lights were like Bravo 6 going dark. <laughs> Sweet. Awesome. That event control is really cool. What else can we do with this thing? Ooh, but you know what? What if we make it so that if we add a block, maybe that's saying that all is okay and it'll turn the lights back on. So let's add a block and see if the lights turn back on. Hey, there they are. And I think that works with removed as well. So if I remove this, if I were to remove this block, it would, oh wait, hang on. If I remove the block, it turns off. Okay, that's awesome. Ooh, altitude would be really interesting as well. Okay, how about this? Say we have this super awesome stealth ship that we built in a few seconds and it's got this really powerful spotlights on the front, but we only want those to activate when we're under a certain altitude. So we don't give off our position when we're super high up. So how do we do that? Well, we have the event controller back here. Let's see if this altitude thing works. So I'll go into K, I'll go into our event uh, controller right here and let's set up our actions to be these spotlights. So for one condition, we'll say the spotlights are on and for the other condition, we'll say the spotlights are off. And let's see how we do this. So we're gonna set altitude and we're gonna set if we're less, if we're equal or less than, let's say uh, 200 meters, we're gonna turn on the spotlights. And if we're over that, we're gonna turn off the spotlights. Let's actually set that to like 50. <laughs> okay, so if we go above 50 meters, these should turn off all by themselves, they do. And if we go below 50 meters, they should automatically turn right back on. And they do, that is awesome. All right, I, I really like the event controller. I think this is amazing. Let's try out some of the actual AI stuff. 
Okay, so our second guy is the AI recorder right here. Let's see what it says. So the, the type is task. This can record a path and action sequence. This path can be relative to another grid if the reference is set. Uh, this path and sequence can then be replayed provided that there is a move type block available on the grid. Okay, so this requires a move block. Uh, let's see what move blocks we have. So there's only one move type block in here and that would be the uh, AI flight. So the AI flight is what's going to control our moving, I guess. So AI flight, I imagine eventually they'll add like an AI drive or something uh, so that we can use rovers with AI. I don't know. I don't think AI, rovers have ever had AI in the game, but um, that would be cool. Currently though, I guess we can use flight. So I have this thing and I made a copy of it as well, just in case we want to use it for other things. I think what we're going to do is we're going to put an AI Actually, no, before we do the AI recorder, let's try out the AI basic, because this actually seems really cool as well. Okay, so it does actually require a little bit of configuration. It's giving me an error that it has no move type block. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a move type block. So I'm guessing I have to set AI behavior on here. Yep, that's going to fix that warning that the AI basic had. And I'm going to set this to follow me. Uh, and it should... Do I need to do any other, um, any other stuff? I'm going to turn on collision avoidance as well. <laughs> All right, I want you to follow 10 meters behind me. So if I run over here, are you going to follow me? No, you are not. Why are you not following me? Oh, I've got to turn on AI behavior. Okay, so that's probably what I've got to do. Oh, it even says following Andrew. Cool. Well, let's see if it actually does. You just hang out over there. I'm just going to get a little ways out and you can follow me. Hey, this is good. Okay. Um, I've set the distance uh, to 10 meters to follow me and I've set the minimum height to uh, also 5 meters. So let's see if I just run over here. Is it going to follow me all the way over here? I think it's gonna. Oh my god, this is awesome. Imagine we stuck a bunch of cargo containers on that and we just wanted it to like kind of manage cargo for us. <laughs> That's so cool. What happens if I use my jetpack and just like fly away? Can it find me if I'm like all the way over here next to these trees? I think I'm safe. I don't think I see- Oh no! <laughs> I crashed into this! <laughs> No! <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> and of course, that will have turned the base lights off. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is why we make backups of our ships. It crashed, by the way, because I turned off the collision avoidance because it wasn't moving at first. <laughs> so that was I was trying to fix it and I ended up destroying it. Uh, so, whoops. Turn that on. Oh, gosh. Okay, cool. Uh, let's... Wait, am I just... If I click on these, is it moving to them? I don't know what's going on. Oh, is it going to crash? I have collision avoidance on, so... <laughs> but I set its speed limit to 100 to see what would happen. I don't know what this RSVR beacon is. Can I, like, remove that? <gasps> um, um, okay. Okay, ship. I'm not controlling it. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Alright, there's there are a couple of kinks that need to be worked out, maybe. <laughs> with the, uh... With the, uh, AI. <laughs> That just completely drove me into the ground. It was trying to get to that beacon, and I don't think I was able to remove that beacon. Um, I just clicked on it, and it just kind of full-speeded over to that beacon and uh, and died. <laughs> anyway, that's the AI stuff. Okay, let's let's try out the recorder. I want to see how that works. Collision avoidance, I feel like, is a setting that does nothing, considering both of my AIs have crashed pretty, pretty soon after <laughs> setting them to AI. Um, but anyway... Repeat the path. Okay, so this I imagine will let me uh, record stuff and then it'll do them. Okay, well let's say I want this ship right here to be able to go like uh, like this. Okay, we're going to record our path. Let's say we want to go straight like this. And we want to stop. We want to go up. We want to turn around. And we want to go straight over the base like that. And then we want to kind of like do like a bank over to here. Just like that. Now, if I want to play it, let's see. Oh, wait, I've got to turn this AI action back on. Okay, so it should be playing it now. Let's see if it does it. I'm not controlling the uh, the pilot. Here, see, I'll, I'll stand on it. There we go. <laughs> I'm standing on the ship. Let's see if it actually does what I did. Oh, here it goes. Okay, yep, it's going. So I can, like, hold my gun. Oh, it's going up. It's doing the thing. Okay, cool. I can hold my gun this entire time and, like... Fire at my uh, fire at my thing so I can turn out the light. Wait, the lights are still off. Why are the lights still off? <laughs> I need to figure out why those are still off. But anyways, go AI. Take me to where I want to go. Can we finally have horses and space engineers and mounts? Like this is technically a mount, right? If I'm mounting it and using it to get from point A to point B. <laughs> 
Space engineers and mounts confirmed. Wait, mounts and space engineers confirmed. I could see this being really useful if you wanted to have like an automated tram system or something like that. You could have it set to kind of take you from point A to point B. So all you'd have to do is click play and it would kind of just... I'm going to let it do that in the background. It should continuously do that forever now. Very neat. Let's start to daytime for a, a change in scenery. There we go. Speaking of those use cases, we have the AI defensive and the AI offensive. These are combat based ones, so I don't really know how I'm going to test them unless I like spawn a space pirate somewhere. In fact, maybe I'll make a grid of space pirates over here. Let me let me do that real quick. Okay, there's our hostile space pirate base. You can tell it's a space pirate base because it's got a red flag. That means bad. <laughs> All right, so uh, what we want to do then is we want to... Uh, let's try out the offensive thing, the offensive AI. I feel like I know what the defensive one will do. It'll probably just shoot things as they come close by patrolling around my area. But the offensive one, I want to see if it can target these specific areas. I've got four distinct areas of this base. I've got the power. I've got the uh, the weapons, which will not shoot, by the way. They don't have any ammo in them. I don't want our ship getting destroyed. I want this to be a very one-sided battle. We've got the uh, cargo, and we've got the um, thrusters. And then we've, of course, got the flag, but I don't think I can tell it to attack the flag. Uh, anyways, though, let's build up a little ship, or let's retrofit this thing to have some weapons. I know, I know. I'm amazing at retrofitting ships. <laughs> Okay, I may have literally just attached some Gatling turrets to the front of this thing, but anyways, we've got everything set up. Let's go ahead and look at our configuration. So for our move, I want to set our AI behavior on, collision avoidance on, speed limit uh, set to... This is an attack craft. We need it to be at least 50 meters per second. Um, and minimum altitude, I don't want it going below 25. Uh, let's say 15. So you can do some low attacks. All right, let's see what the AI offensive has. Okay, so AI behavior, I want you to attack enemies only. Oh, okay, so it can change targets every X amount of seconds. Uh, and we can tell it to target a, a subsystem, so that's kind of cool. Oh, wait, a, a pattern? Hang on, you can circle and orbit it? That's awesome! <laughs> hit and run, let's say hit and run. I want to see if it can actually do that. I definitely want you to target weapons first. Okay, I think we've got everything set for this thing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn on the AI behavior. I'm going to hop out and hop on it so it's controlling everything with this. And we're gonna enjoy the ride. In fact, I'll even help. <laughs> oh man, it's just going in. Where's the retreat? It's not retreating, it's just... <laughs> what are... Sir? Um, are you good? You good, buddy? Okay, how about... Can you... Here, let me put a control panel on this. What if I said suddenly that I want you to attack the power systems? Oh, oh, we're retreating. I think we're retreating. Wait, are we? I have no clue. But we're going up. We're going up for some reason. We're along for the ride here. We're just going to enjoy this. Oh gosh, I'm not going to survive this. I'm going to fall off. <laughs> we're going down. Uh-oh. I can only assume this is a certain type of attack that involves using one's own ship against the enemy. I don't, I don't know what pattern this is. I don't know what pattern this is, but it's doing something. And I'm here for it. Okay, another attack pass. There we go, target acquired. Let's go, hit and run. Hit and run. We did the hit, now the run. Where's the, it's just giving me an opportunity to shoot. Thank you, AI, I, I, you're very considerate. Oh, here we go, here we go. Are you a little too fast? Nope, you're good. I mean, you're giving the enemy a lot of times to shoot you at this point. Oh, here we go, this is definitely an attack pass. All right, light them up. Take out those subsystems. Uh, it's okay, this is a raid, this is a dismount. Ha ha! <laughs> I've gotten past your systems. Oh wait, no, it's still going. I gotta admire that. Never mind. <laughs> Looks like we're trekking back on foot. We're gonna let that guy just kind of hang out up there. It's got no more attack systems, but it still is an AI trying to attack, so. It's just missing the uh, the Gadling turrets. It can't attack it even if it wants to, but that's its literal purpose, is to attack things that it sees. So it's like, uh, what do I do now? Wait, what happened over here? So even with collision avoidance, this thing somehow managed to crash into the ground. I don't know if it ran out of power. I mean, it had, look, it still had uranium, so I, I can't imagine it ran out of power. Um, but somehow, even though it was doing a recorded system like 10 times before this, it managed to uh, crash into the ground. And that guy, I have no clue what he's even doing. He was attacking that, but then lost its 
Gatling weapons, and now is kind of just hovering over there, uh, waiting for someone to relieve him, I guess. Anyway, I guess there's only one last thing to test, which would be the defensive one. I imagine it's going to be very similar to the attack one, but I want to try it anyway, just to see. Okay, so the defensive guy, we can turn on AI behavior, defend against enemies. Oh, okay, this is cool. So it defends against enemies that have this subsystem. It won't necessarily target that subsystem, but it'll uh, defend against ones that have it. Anyway, though, our defensive ones, we're going to say anything with a power. Any Anything with propulsion is going to be a threat. What we want to do is lock the target and flee if you take damage. Okay, flee to Andrew 1, I guess. Yeah. Oh, it's collision avoidance on as well, and set the AI behavior to on. So it should be currently defending. It does not see that as a target at this moment. Okay, AI behavior on. Defensive is on. Enemies with propulsion are on. Okay, the defensive one is not very... Uh... Oh wait, no, it's searching for enemies in two seconds. Okay, do it. Search and find that enemy. Wait. Does it not- does it have to have line of sight or something? Let's- let's, uh, fly it all the way up here. Okay, let's see if it finds it. We're fleeing? Why are we fleeing? <laughs> Wait, we're fleeing and we're target locked. I'm- I'm confused. We're target locked. Good. But we're fleeing bad. Why are we fleeing? Oh, okay, so if I set it to always flee... We're gonna- we're gonna go back to that target area. But if I set it to never flee, it's gonna lock targets again. The only problem is, I guess, I guess it only locks targets, so if you have, like, automated weapons, it will try and shoot them, but it's not going to do any offensive patterns unless you have the offensive thing, which kind of makes it so that the offensive thing is better than the defensive thing anyway, right? I guess you would only use the defensive one if you want a ship that kind of patrols and then just, like, flees whenever, uh, whenever it sees anything. So in that case, imagine you have all your stuff on a ship and you're and it's following you around carrying all your valuables. Uh, then like a reaver attacks you, you can have this ship flee back to your base when it detects that because the defensive uh, takes over the control of the ship. I guess that's kind of cool. Okay, I just set the entire grid to friendly, so it's now my grid. Uh, and I added another thing to that ship over there so that it's supposed to follow me. I don't know if it's going to start following me or not, but it's supposed to. How come you're not following me? Is the defensive freaked out still? Why? Hang on. Do I have to turn this one off and then back on? Okay, now it's gonna... <laughs> Wait, okay, that's kind of annoying. So if it actually targets something and flees back to the base, if you want to have it resume its original thing and stop doing the defensive task, you have to actually go in and turn off the defensive AI, then turn it back on, because uh, it doesn't seem like it resumes its task automatically. But let's say I have something following me around, right? That's carrying all my valuables. If this is Minecraft, that's carrying all my diamonds. It's got stacks on stacks of diamonds, right? So I'm coming over here, and uh, it's still following me and everything. When suddenly... Let's let it get here real quick. When suddenly, a reaver is detected. Oh, no! Uh, transfer to space pirates. No, not nobody. Transfer to space pirates. A reaver is detected. Oh, no! I say again, a reaver! Transfer all to space pirates. I say again, a reaver is detected! Oh no! Run a- Wait, what? Uh, it's- okay, it's doing it. It's doing it. Run away! Carry the diamonds back to base! Save yourself! I'll defend! No! <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. I, I, I can see the use case for that. <laughs> I can definitely see the use case for that. There it goes. To safety, unless the Reaver decides that he's more of a threat than I am, in which case, um, rip him and base, because I'm not there either. Alright everybody, that was a first look at all of the AI behavior things that Keen are adding to Space Engineers in the, uh, I guess the next update. This was just the beta test. Again, if you want to try this out, you can do that on Steam. The instructions were at the, uh, at the start of this video. If you want a world full of AI that occasionally crashes into each other, although I... Let's see. Nope. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. <laughs> it's very tense. It's very tense watching them fly around knowing that sometimes they uh, they just happen to just crash and stuff. But uh, yeah, all this stuff's going to be coming to the game pretty soon. It's still in beta, which is why, you know, obviously we have a couple crashes here and there, a couple of, uh, of issues with shooting stuff. And also, I'm new to this stuff, uh, so I might not be using it all correctly, but... Um, but anyway, yeah, that's all the new AI behavior stuff. What do you guys like about this? What do you guys dislike about this? What do you guys think should be changed? Can you see any new AI um, 
capabilities being added in the future that you might like? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button, put your comments and suggestions down below in the comments section. Subscribe if you're new here. Patreon link is in the description if you want to support the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.